You pull off the intake manifold and there it is, a pool of oil staring back at you. I've seen it a hundred times in everything from old clunkers to fresh off the line engines with barely 10,000 miles on them. It's ugly, it smells like trouble, and it's enough to make any driver worry. They've got a major engine failure on their hands. But here's the truth. This isn't as rare or catastrophic as it looks. In fact, oil in the intake manifold is more common than most folks realize, and in many cases, you don't have to tear the whole engine apart to fix it. So let's get down to the basics, no nonsense, just the straight facts, exactly how we mechanics like it. But just before we start, please ensure you've subscribed to the channel. What is the intake manifold and why should it be oil-free? The intake manifold's job is simple. It moves air, not oil. It's the pathway that channels air from the throttle body straight into the cylinders, ensuring the engine gets the right mix for combustion. In direct injection, engines, fuel, doesn't even pass through the intake anymore, just air. So when you pop it open and find oil pooling inside, something's off. A little misting or staining over time, that's nothing to worry about. But if you're staring at a puddle, or worse, seeing oil dripping into the intake runners and messing with the valves, you've got a real issue on your hands. That kind of buildup can lead to performance problems, increased wear, and even long-term damage if left unchecked. It's time to figure out what's causing it before it turns into a bigger headache. Main Causes of Oil in the Intake Manifold The PCV System One of the most overlooked culprits when oil starts showing up where it shouldn't. That little valve is supposed to regulate crankcase pressure and recycle vapors back into the intake to keep emissions in check. But, when it sticks open, or the baffles in the valve cover get clogged, oil vapor, and sometimes even liquid oil, gets sucked straight into the intake manifold. I've seen it happen more times than I can count. Excessive blow-by is another troublemaker. When piston rings wear out or cylinders get glazed, combustion gases slip past the rings and build up pressure in the crankcase. That pressure forces oil into the PCV line, eventually dumping it into the intake. In older engines, this is a clear sign the motor's getting tired. Turbos can add to the problem too. If the oil seals in a turbocharger start leaking or if the turbo is pushing too much pressure without proper crankcase ventilation, oil can get forced through the intercooler and right into the intake. I've seen turbocharged engines with intake manifolds practically coated in oil because of this. Even something as simple as improper oil levels can cause trouble. Overfilling the oil or using a viscosity that's too thin can lead to excessive misting and higher crankcase pressure, sending oil places it was never meant to go. And let's not forget modifications. Removing the PCV or EGR system, or running a poorly tuned catch can, can throw off the delicate balance of pressure and airflow in the engine. When that happens, oil finds its way into the intake, causing all sorts of headaches. I've seen plenty of well-meaning DIYers make changes that end up doing more harm than good. Best to keep things balanced and working as intended. Symptoms you might notice. When oil sneaks into the intake manifold, it doesn't just sit there quietly. It makes its presence known in all sorts of ways. A rough idle is often the first clue as the engine struggles to maintain steady RPMs. Blue smoke puffing out of the exhaust, especially on startup or under acceleration, is another telltale sign that oil is burning where it shouldn't be. You might notice your fuel economy taking a hit or even experience misfires as oil fouls the spark plugs and disrupts combustion. If your car's got direct injection, clogged intake valves can trigger the check engine light, making diagnostics a bit easier. Turbocharged engines bring their own set of symptoms. Strange whining or whistling noises, a noticeable drop in boost pressure, or the unmistakable scent of burning oil under load. Any of these signs mean it's time to take a closer look before the problem turns into something bigger. How to fix it. Fixing this issue comes down to pinpointing the root cause. If the PCV valve is the culprit, and it often is, swapping it out is a quick and inexpensive fix. Most engines take a $10 to $30 replacement and the job can be done in about 15 minutes. But some newer models tuck the PCV inside the valve cover, meaning you'll have to replace the whole thing. If excessive blow-by is to blame, a compression or leak-down test will tell you what you need to know. Low or uneven numbers could mean it's time for a rebuild, or at the very least, some serious maintenance like a piston soak or ring cleaning. 
Turbocharged engines bring their own set of challenges. If you spot oil pooling in the charge pipes, chances are you've got a failing turbo seal. In that case, rebuilding or replacing the turbo might be necessary. Checking your oil level and quality is another smart move. Stick to the manufacturer's recommended viscosity and don't overfill. If your engine's been running on cheap or overly thin oil, switching to a high-quality synthetic with the right viscosity can help reduce oil misting. For performance or turbo engines, installing a proper oil catch can between the PCV line and intake can make a big difference. Just be sure it's baffled and well-maintained, otherwise it could end up causing more problems than it solves.